Hey there, my name is Drew Brashler, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to play your multi-track recording back into the X32 for doing a virtual sound check. Now, if you're new to my channel, I am all about making you feel more confident in your production gear, no matter where you're starting from. Let's go ahead and dive in. So in the last video, I showed you how to actually complete a multi-track recording of your band using the X USB card, which ships default with the X32 from Behringer. Now I have the multi-track file recording on my laptop using the DAW named Reaper, and I'm going to play that file back into my X32 so I can actually practice mixing on this console here. So the first thing that we want to make sure is that our XUSB card is set up in the 32 in, 32 out configuration, which we can double check by pressing setup and tabbing all the way over to card and making sure that 32 in, 32 out is selected. If anything else is selected, you'll want to just go ahead and click 32 in, 32 out. The next thing is to press the routing tab, and with our sixth rotary knob, we're going to rotate to this saying play, and then we're going to press this down. Now this is going to change your routing to be coming from your card one through 32. Now this will interrupt any audio that's coming from any other device that's going into your X32. So if your band is practicing or rehearsing, this will interrupt their audio and they will hear what you're playing from your computer, not what's coming from the stage. And so the next thing that we're going to do is go over to our computer where I have Reaper installed. And in the previous video, I showed you how to set up all of the routing so that it was one to one. So input one when you were recording is going to play back out into channel one here on the console. So let's go ahead and press play. Now, as you can see immediately, we have all of our meters that are playing audio into our channels. So this audio was recorded right at the input. And so any of the settings that you had in your EQ, your dynamics, your compression, any of that did not affect this audio. And that's a good thing because we can now play this audio back into our console and we can tweak anything that we want to. So I can go and start building my mix and double checking my practicing. And so we can go through and turn on any of our meters and have them playing just as if they were playing on stage. Now the great thing about this is I can listen to one specific thing. So I can turn up my overheads and I can tweak just my overheads as if the band was playing on stage. Additionally, we can go to any channel that's on the X32 that we recorded and tweak those settings so that those settings will then be dialed in perfectly for when your band comes back on a different day. So if you are fortunate enough to have a midweek rehearsal that is before your Sunday services, maybe multi-track record your band on that rehearsal so that you can have a couple extra days or extra time to be able to tweak in your mix before the Sunday services happen. Now, once we are finished with setting up our virtual sound check and we are all completed with double checking everything and getting everything set, then we want to make sure to switch our board back to our inputs. And we can do that by rotating this knob over to record and then we will go ahead and press this knob. And that will simply set all of our inputs back to the way that they were in the beginning. So that brings me to the conclusion of this video of how to actually get our multi-track audio files playing back into the X32. If you happen to have any questions either regarding this video or any other topics, please feel free to post them in the comments below as I am always looking through those to get the next topic for my next video that's going to be helpful for you. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel or check out drewbrashler.com for more articles and information about the Behringer X32 and other production things. Thanks so much.